Well, hello Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is actually going to be the last one, maybe for a while. Who knows? But uh, I follow my energy and my energy tells me that this is it for now. Um, so this is going to be October 25th through, oh, I'm sorry, September 25th through October 1st. Um, I don't know why I keep saying it that way, but who knows? Uh, <laughs> So we are going to do love, money, career, and then just a random message. Um, for now on, on this channel, we're going to do two monthly readings for each zodiac sign. Um, I just, I don't know, the energy just feels better that way, so that's how we're going to do it. So, Pisces, let's see what we have for you. September 25th through October 1st, starting with love first. We have life goals, abundance, sorry, not sorry, baggage, and wicked. You've decided to either break up with someone or separate because you want to focus on yourself. Um, this is a, this could be recent, but it feels like it's something that's been ongoing. Um, and you have gotten a more positive mindset, which is perfect for you. Um, but I feel like you still care about this person. It's like you're moving on, you're growing, you're focusing on yourself, finding abundance, um, probably dating around as well, uh, feeling good about yourself, but that person still lingers in your mind. Um, but I feel like this is a pattern. This is like a love pattern of this person is gone and now I can only think of all the positive things in this relationship. Sorry, I'm leaning towards cards right now. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the ones that I'm looking for. Okay, here we go. Love is still there deep down our hearts, but we should definitely spend more time together. Yeah, I feel... Mm, there's like love there with this person. But it's very interesting because... It's like the relationship needed more time, but that's not what it got, you know? I see you eventually going to contact this person um, because you miss them. You know what's weird, Pisces? I feel like eventually you're like, there's nobody like this person. Even if I date around, even if I other people there's no one else like this person um yeah let's get into some cards the emperor page of cups queen of swords yeah i feel like you just wanted to take control over your life it's almost like you needed to take some sort of action it kind of feels like you were going around and around in circles um Focusing too much maybe on your relationship and not enough like on yourself, your goals, your career, on what it is you want. It kind of gives that empty feeling, you know, like I need to be in control. I need to see what I need to do to be in control. Um, and I feel like you pull back from this person. I feel like they felt rejected no matter even if they tried, you know, it was like you just weren't ever close enough. And you do feel bad for that, but at the same time, 
you needed to do it for you. So it is what it is. And I hate to say it like that, you know. Um, but now that you have a clearer thought and clearer mind, you're thinking about the decisions that you've made. And would you change them? Are you going to change them? And what's next for you? Yeah, you're tired of fighting. You're tired of fighting your feelings to go back eventually. Okay. But it's really starting to hit you this week, I feel. You had your guard up for a long time, like trying to protect yourself or maybe even tell yourself you didn't want this person or um, other people like kind of saying the same thing to you but it feels like they're saying it because they think you want to hear it type of thing and i'm gonna say to this person that we're that we're discussing here it was a shock to them as well with the tower card and i feel like they finally have accepted this rejection because that's what they feel like it is and moved on so your next step is like so now what, you know, because right now in, in the pa in the recent past, you've sort of been fighting the feeling to even want to focus on it or even think about it. So advice, make sure that you have clarity of mind before you step out into this, because I feel like it's not going to be easy. You know what I'm saying? This person is sort of done. You know, and this would be creating a riff in that. Yeah, because I see there's issues with moving forward with this person. Uh, there's frustration, there's obstacles, there's disappointment in you connecting with this person. Um, but if you need to speak with them for clarity of thought, I feel like that's fine. But prepare yourself. Yeah, prepare yourself to hear what it is that you do didn't that you don't want to hear and feeling like oh this was a mistake you know what i mean okay to remind myself money and career okay huge decisions job search unexpected expenses I feel like this week there's this weird energy coming from you this week, Pisces, of just wanting, like, big change, like, craving something. So, you're, like, nitpicking and trying to change things about your life. This can be a dangerous time. That could be a dangerous feeling, you know what I mean? It can get you in some, some sticky situations. Um, but I feel like you're thinking I need to change my job I need to change my work situation I feel like because you need more money I don't know what for maybe to spend or maybe you have other expenses or you need to take care of a parent it could be lots of those things so we have the three of swords five of pentacles five of swords four of pentacles not seven of swords and the two of pentacles don't they look like a nine look kind of looks like a nine doesn't it okay i just needed to uh some vindication <laughs> okay so three of swords and the five of pentacles yeah it's like you're feeling some sort of hole or some sort of need for change so you're like I need to make these big changes in my life to make me feel valued. Um, to make Also to make me feel like I have enough money. <laughs> I have enough assets. Um, I need to fix my money situation. So I feel like you're thinking about making a really big decision. Um, this is the thing. You have a love-hate relationship with your job, I can see here. But you need the job. 
So I don't see you like quitting your job and then being like, oh, I found another job. You're like looking for a job while you're at your current job, but you want a different job. Okay. And... Ooh, there's this false feeling that you need to take care of somebody else. And I'm going to put this in a scenario. Let's say you're taking care of a parent, okay? Um, and you feel like, okay, uh, this is how we do it in our family. I have to take care of my parent, blase, blase, blase. And that's fine because uh, I feel like you feel the need to keep things afloat. But there's a truth here. There's a truth that you're missing. It's like you don't have to do it. It's like this parent is able to take care of themselves. They need to learn. They need to go through their own process. So there's a bit of a, a truth that needs to be told or understood here. Hmm. Yeah, so you're feeling the need to, like, be the one to support someone or support a home, um, to fix a situation, but I feel like you're walking into a, into, a situation, I feel like I'm saying situation a lot. <laughs> you're, you're walking into something where you're getting yourself entangled. Yeah, someone is either making you feel bad or they don't make good decisions when it comes to finances. It's like they're not even trying. Mm, that's what it is. Someone's not even trying. And you're like... Well, I need to be there to pick up the pieces before it all falls apart. But they're not even trying. They're not even trying to change. They're not even trying to do things better. They may be seeming like they are, but these two cards are telling me that in reality they aren't. Like it's not clicking. They're not understanding. Or they feel like you'll come and fix it. So they don't really have to worry that much. But it's putting a strain on you. Okay. Mice. Cheers and stars. Stop listening to everyone else. I feel like you have friends or people you're getting advice from that don't really know what they're talking about. Like, they're coming in between your love life or your happiness. Um, be very careful of that, okay? Because I see you eventually catching on and understanding that you need to either stop listening to these people or cut off contact with these people. One of the two. Like, that clarity is going to come probably next week, okay? Star, Seven of Wands. Mm. It's like you kind of gave up on something that could work. It's like you voluntarily cut off something that could work for you. Like there was a thought you could have had that could have worked, you know? There was a direction you were going that would have worked, but I feel like you cut it off. And this is your opportunity to like face the issue and continue it you know a continuation of something that was a dream or something that was a, a dream come true a wish a miracle for you okay 
King of Cups. Six of Pentacles. It's something in the... It's, this must be a person from the past, Pisces. Um, because I see you being in love with someone from the past. But also I see that the past is idealized as well. So this tells me that, you know, there's some things that need to be resolved. There's some issues. There's some hard work and dedication. It's not going to be easy. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. It's like you got to you gotta find stability, you know. Um, but I also see it feels like you made a decision that you regret. It's going to take a lot of confidence to make it work. It's going to be hard work to make it work if you want it to. Because I feel like whoever this person is, they've built a stable life without you and they're good. It's like you have to convince this person that you're, that you mean what you say, that you're going to stick around, that this is real, you know, because they feel let down. Okay. All right, Pisces, I love you. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye.